Hi, I'm Max and today I'm going to give you tips on how to control oily skin. Now I'm not blessed with clear, lovely looking skin. I do have quite oily skin. I do get spots. Everyone's human. But it's not the end of the world and I'm going to show you how to tackle them. Firstly, you've got to start off with a good routine. So every morning, use Clean and Clear Morning Energy Skin Brightening Facial Scrub. This is really great. I find that my pores clog up, especially if I've been wearing makeup and you start getting blackheads and this just clears them out. Work in circular motions around your face, just like that, for around 30 seconds to a minute. And then when you feel like washing it off, use a facial cleansing sponge. So just take it out of this packet, run it under some water, squeeze it out and just start washing your makeup off again in circular motions. Just paying special attention to your nose and your T-zone. Now these look quite hard but I promise you they're really not. Once you get them wet they're really nice and soft and they're still tough enough to get into those gritty areas that you can't really get yourself. So if your skin still needs some extra help then I would recommend the Mud Original Mask. It's a clay mask so it means it gets right in and it soaks up all the oil in your face. You just leave it on for around 10 to 15 minutes and then just wash it off. Again you can use one of these sponges if you like just to give yourself an extra clean. And it's great, like I said, it soaks up all the oil, it's got added minerals and it's gentle enough that you can use it a couple of times a week if you want. So after you've done that, it's important that you follow it up with a moisturiser. Now I know you're thinking Okay, I've got really oily skin, but why would I want to put more greasiness onto it? Well, if simple fact is, if you don't moisturise your skin, your skin will moisturise itself with oil. And then you'll just end up with more spots. So if your skin feels nice and soft and moisturised, it'll be happy and it won't sweet oil. So I would recommend for night that you use the Simple Kind to Skin Hydrating Light Moisturiser. Like I said, Simple is really just simple. <laughs> it's natural. There's no harsh chemicals or perfumes and it's just really great. And then before you put on your makeup in the morning or if you don't wear makeup, put on the simple day cream. Now this has got SPF in it as well which is why it's their day cream which means that you're not getting again burnt skin which will cause to moisturise itself more which will cause extra oil. Now another thing that's important is if you do get a spot try not to pick it. I know, I know what you're saying. If you've got a big white head right in the tip of your nose and it's really annoying you, you're going to want to pick it. And the best advice I can give you is if it's red and it's sore, leave it alone, cover it up. But if it is a bit of a white head and it's really annoying you, just get a little piece of tissue and just squeeze until it pops. If it doesn't pop, stop, you will do yourself damage. And when your skin gets damaged, it grows back damaged because it has a memory. So if you just have a red spot and it's really annoying you, just try and cover it up. I use Garnier Pure Active, which is a roller ball, and it's also proven to not only cover up spots, but help fight them as well. Another tip I can give you is to just, when your skin is really bad, just try and steer clear of makeup for a couple of days. It sounds easier than it is, but it really, it does get you down when you have spots, but the best thing to do is just moisturise, Use your face masks, use your cream, use your spot cream, but just try and stay away from makeup as it will clog it and you don't want to get into a cycle where you're covering it up and your skin's getting worse. So just try and leave yourself a couple of days without makeup and it'll do your skin the world good. When you do go back to wearing makeup, it's important that you don't just use uh, a makeup wipe and just go to bed. You need to use your, again, your scrub and your face masks. And just even just giving your face a simple wash of soap before you fall asleep is a lot better than using a makeup wipe. So I hope that's helped and don't let your skin get too down. At the end of the day, it's just skin, it's just a spot and it will be gone if you leave it for a week. Whereas if you pick and you get scabs, those scabs are going to be there for life because it's memory and your skin will remember and cause that scab again. So it's a spot, just try and leave it for a couple of days and it'll be gone. Good luck with your skincare problems.